Hi, my beautiful sunshines, my beautiful dolls. Thank you, thank you so much for pressing play on this video. Um, I've missed you so, 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 so much. I am so sorry for being MIA for this time. Um, but I do thank you to all of you who understand. Um, right now, I was just showing you what I will be using. The coral looking mix I made myself. Um... So yeah, oh sorry, and I'll be using um, my Kalinsky brush from Bowen number eight to apply because I want the um, layers to be as thin as possible. I help myself with the sizes of my brushes um, since the smaller brush picks up less. I like to um, use them for like. The color acrylic first and then I use my number eight if it's uh, encapsulating or if it's something that um, I'm not gonna need as thin or whatnot so right there as you can see I dipped my brush on coral then clear then white then clear then silver then clear and then I applied and I did that both times just to get that little I don't know what you call that effect. It wouldn't be marble, it's more like a, I don't know, but I liked it. So yeah, that's what I did there. So like the clearest for one color not to mix with the other or overpower the other. That's why I put it between each color. So um, like I said, I'm really, really, really sorry for being MIA. As you saw in my prior video, I had a couple of things going on. Um, mm, most of my medication got here, so I'm adapting. Um, my body's adapting. Um, as most of you know, um, I have Hashimoto's thyroid disease. Um, I want to do a video about that um, and upload it. It's like a poem, and I should be doing it at some point. Um, as you can see here really quick I am adding silver to the tip and I'm sweeping it up then I'll be doing like an ombre with the coral color and I'll be doing that on all the rest of the nails and I'll be letting you watch as you can see um yeah so my medications are here um my thyroids if I'm not taking that really don't function well which brings me back to the tiredness, the fatigue, the body aches, the anxiety, depression, all that that the Hashimoto's brings to you. So I really, really apologize for being in my aid, but I've missed you guys all so much. I'm like, I gotta upload these videos, I gotta edit them and upload them. So here's, here's one that I had. To be honest with you, to this day, um, I haven't done my other hand. It's still yellow. <laughs> I still have yellow nails. I have one set on one hand and another set on the other hand. But yeah. Um, and this now I'm going to be adding some power shells and some caviar beads. Because remember what I said on the video of the other set I did? I'm like, I want my nails like this too. Well, here we are. I'm putting some on and I love it. I totally love it. The camera really doesn't do justice as to how the colors look. I so love how it looks. Um, and then about my dad, I want to thank you guys all for your prayers. Um, Wednesday, he was released from the hospital after being there for like nine days. Um, he had a couple blood transfusions. He was an IV because he had been throwing up. He lost a total of 45 pounds. He's weighing 115 or 120. Um, he is... Um, I ask you that you still keep him in prayers. He is... Um, they said most likely going to have surgery in a month or two. They were also washing out his liver and stuff with um, the IV and the blood transfusion so um, I think it was a slipper I don't know how to translate body parts very well but I think that's what it was 
um so and it's amongst other things that that i do want to keep private so um just if you can my little faith warriors keep them in your prayer i would really appreciate that other than that he's eating fine now he's not throwing up um the food is staying he's on medication a nurse is visiting him twice a week but me and my sister are convincing him to come live with us like six months with her and then the rest with me and um back and forth i know it's probably a lot but at least we can keep an eye on him um she lives on the west coast i live on the east coast so <laughs> it'll be a lot of traveling for him as you can see on this nail i got stuck on the side where some of the pigment didn't mix right and it just looked like a glob of red so i got hard i keep working on it but i end up filing it down because i don't want it Sorry about that. I don't. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't want this one um, to be so thick, so I ended up filing it down. I don't record it, but you'll see it. Um, I'll be showing you where I filed it down and redo that part. So I want to thank everybody who's been commenting on my videos. Thank you all for watching, even if you don't comment. I really appreciate it. But the ones who comment, I can thank by name by putting their names right here down below, and also putting their channels in the description box so you guys could check these ladies out most of them do do nails um and other forms of art that i like to watch i don't usually comment on the videos but i do watch um and yeah i'll be doing that down below i want to thank you thank you ladies so so much for your support for still being here even though i was a mia for a while again i apologize for that i just like I said, if you look up Hashimoto's thyroid disease, you'll see what I go through and then add that to my daddy being in the hospital and I'm far away and I'm stressing out and it, it, it was really, really frustrating for me. But yeah, um, thank you guys so, so much for always showing your support. Like I said, their names will be down below and um, their links will be in the description box. Um... So as you can see, I'm still doing the ombre on my nails. On top of my pinky, my pointer, and my thumb, I will be using the number one mix from the Mermaid Collection. Um, I do it really thin, um, really sporadic on my pinky, a little more on my pointer, and then my thumb, I do it really, really thick. I just wanted to do it that way so it showed different lights on the different ones, and I really, really like the way it turned out. And so here I yeah, am showing you doing that number one. I'm so in love with that mix. As you can see, I barely spread any out on my pinky. And then I proceed to the pointer. I really like the way that turned out as well. And I add a little more than I did on the pinky. And spread it out a little more. This camera is not doing justice to how these set looks. I really, really love how this set looks. I am in love with it. I don't know if I'm gonna add rhinestones once I'm done or not. Um, by the time I decide to, I'm probably gonna need a fill again, so I don't know. Um, right here, I would was done following that ring finger. So it's too thick, add another tiny thin layer of this color. So it blends better and then I start applying the power shell and the caviar beads. Since I overpowered the silver I add a little more on the top. And then I'm trying to find the right size since my nails are really curved I couldn't find one to sit flat on there. I was having technical difficulties. And I just start putting them as however I want them. Actually, I just let them lay wherever they would lay. I didn't think of something specific. Just kind of connect it all. And just threw them caviar beads on there. Half the time, I don't know what I'm doing until I'm doing it, so. <laughs> I 
And here I will show you what am I doing here? I think I'm gonna encapsulate with my number 10 brush from Exotic Nails. And I only show you two nails that I will be encapsulating, which is a pointer and the um, middle finger, the rude finger. And as you can see, I walk the acrylic with the belly of my brush to try and cover as much as I can as thinly as possible. So my nail is not too thick. Sometimes I could do the whole nail, sometimes I can't, so I just add a little bit more. This um, type of nails, I do have issues encapsulating the um, reverse technique. I always have issues with those. I'm getting better, but I still have issues sometimes. As you can see, I'm still using the belly of the brush to walk the acrylic. That way I'm not contaminating my Kalinsky brush that much with acrylic. When I do file down, it doesn't matter if I file down some of the shell or the caviar beads. Uh, so long as the nail is smooth, I mean, it's not going to take the full decoration away anyway. I still need to practice on doing my nails a little thinner when I encapsulate. But I think, I feel these came out thinner than the ones I did prior to these. Yeah, I'm done filing, so I just clean. And I had washed my hands and I'm just cleaning with a finished solution as well. Just a little extra oomph too finish up I really really like these nails they're like a combination spring summer really pretty and of course I have the wander and the cuticle areas for my gel to adhere better and to seal the cuticle with the gel and apparently there was something bothering me there and I'll be using the gel extra top coat. I really, really, really like this top coat. I saw it in Della's Nail Creations channel. Saw her using it and I like the shine it had, so I decided to try it and I really, really enjoyed it so far. I do put my link below to my other channel if you guys are interested. It's not about nails. It's like just my messy kids and me and um, stuff we may do, stuff we may not do. Um, I just uploaded, um, that's what I did most of last week. I had a lot of videos I had to up upload on there. I did my whole. A concert I went to, it's a Spanish concert, Spanish rock concert. Um, I uploaded that as well. The link is always down below if you're, and you're welcome to go check it out. And if you like it, subscribe. So there you are, that's my finished result. Now I add my cuticle oil to replenish the, the moisture I took away with all the dehydrants and stuff. I always try to do it without touching the nail. And there you have it, that's my finished look. Hope you ladies enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Hugs, kisses, and squeezes. If you like this video, don't forget to push like and share. And if you like this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know what's going on, as well as the bell so it'll notify you of any further videos. Hugs, kisses, and squeezes. I love you. God bless.